Hey everybody, Iran here. So I'm just doing a short uh, feedback video regarding the 10x growth cone on each speaker. So uh, here's the notepad, all my notes, of everything that I've um, taken notes. I'm going to do a quick testimonial or a feedback video on uh, Naveen Jain. Okay, um, I don't have, I don't know much to say, what to say about him. Okay, he is extra, extra, extra ordinary. Okay. Um, so he was the one person on stage who was a billionaire, okay, personally self-made billionaire. Um, and they did a bit of a question and answer with him. I think, um, Jared Glent, I think is the one who actually interviewed him. And, uh, I'll tell you a little bit about my notes. I don't know. I don't know what to say about him. He was just out of this world. Okay. He's going to the moon. Um, is one company that he's doing, he's going to the moon, and he, he explained why. Um, something about powering the world using the stone of the moon to be able to eliminate the use of fuel or electricity, oh, I don't know. He is like in a different stratosphere, literally, and, and pun intended, okay? Um, I mean, he's doing this not, I mean, obviously, he's, you know, he's thinking, oh, it's a great business idea. But he, what did he say? He said he is in about 10 years, in the next 10 years of evolution, technology and all that, we will have the technology to power up um, the stone of the moon to be able, like a reactor to then create energy worldwide or something like that. So that's what he's doing. So he's doing something outrageous. Um, second thing he wants to tackle, now that he's a billionaire and everything, he wants to make uh, illness optional, okay? I.e., you can get ill or you can not, and, and actually figuring out what it is that causes illness and find the real reasons it can be eliminated. Um, so he's got a company, I forget the name of the company, I'm sure if you Google Naveen Jain, um, I think it's called Vioma, V-I-O-M-E, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's his concept, and he, he talked about, starting in, in regards to the research, he started to, he just mentioned, he says it's not finished or whatever, but, you know, something along the lines of, you know, the, the whole concept of, for many years, the brain is what gets you to think or whatever, uh, whatever, I'm not getting into rightness or wrongness here, but that it's not the brain, it's actually the gut. It's the gut telling the brain, and then the brain is the puppet of the gut. And the gut is what you feed it, you know, the, the nutrients, the health, the, all that stuff. So... Anyway, that's that's a bit of stuff I don't really understand, you know, honestly. But, you know, he was getting into that. And that's kind of his vision. It, the point is, rightness or wrongness on any of that, his point was, how do you make illness optional? Okay, so that was pretty cool. Okay. Um, he said, if people don't think you're crazy, you're not thinking big enough. Okay. Um, and he said, don't do what you can do today. Do what's possible tomorrow which is where he was talking about this reactor, how technology will evolve and all that. So I'm, I'm yawning, I've been up since very early doing these videos. Um, but yeah, he was talking about that. Um, as an entrepreneur, I cross the bridge when, when you get there and you burn the bridge behind you. Oh yeah, and then he said, um, it's useless to go to an industry you're an expert in. Okay, if you're gonna do something, do something you have no idea what you're doing because then you get a big surge, okay? That's, he said, that's why I'm going to the, the medical field. I've got no idea anything about the medical field. It's basically a world he's not familiar with, but he can get a big surge. He says, if you go into an area where you're an expert, you might make, get marginal growth of 10, 20% at best as an expert. And you wanna get something you can excel on and go to something big, okay? So he said that you're, you're better off when you're gonna take on a game, take a game you have no idea anything about and start from scratch and have this Exponent, exponential growth. Very interesting concept. His viewpoint is that um, um, if you're an expert at something, you're not going to solve it because you're an expert. You know, so be be somewhere outside the box. Um, and he's definitely that type of person. You know, definitely he's that type of person. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes for for, for president one day or something. Uh, very interesting guy. And uh, let's see what else.
he talked about um, in the in the in school. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's what he was saying. I, I, I was trying to figure out what my notes meant. I, I've got a, the note says teamwork versus cheating. Okay, uh, and he said <laughs> something about in school when you do your grades and then somebody tells you the answer. Okay, at school it's considered cheating. In the workplace, it's considered. Um, teamwork <laughs> and he was giving this comparison I'm not suggesting everybody to start cheating their grades I'm not getting into that but anyway it was just an interesting concept never looked at it that way um, yeah that was the main stuff with him it was a bit difficult to keep notes with Naveen Jain I'll be honest um, he was fascinating to listen to um, he, he thought in ways I think everybody in the crowd were a bit um, trying to keep up with what he was saying and how he was thinking. Because it, it was so left field in an incredible way. It was very, very inspiring, actually. Um, but yeah, very special guy. You should definitely uh, check him out. His Instagram is great. I like his Instagram. He just drops great quotes here and there and so on. And, um, you know, he's Naveen Jain. I'll, I'll leave it in the title so you can check it out. Um, yeah, that's my feedback about him. Um, I, I got the pleasure of meeting him. Uh, took a photo. He was very humble. Um, I, I was catching him on a, on in a breakfast, and um, you know I, I caught him, had a photo, and um, within probably about uh, thirty seconds of me catching him, uh, that was pretty much the end of his attempt to go wherever he was going because he had lines of people lining up to have photos with him. So he was actually the one and only billionaire I've ever met. I don't think I've met another billionaire. Um, hopefully it won't be the last, uh, but yeah, it was my first interaction with somebody who was a billionaire. It was very special, and if there's one thing I can tell you, uh, you can tell why the guy's a billionaire, okay? Um, he, he took the speakers to a whole new level. He made, he didn't make anybody else look wrong. He, he just, he was in a different stratosphere. That's all I could say. So there you go. Hope that helps. Hope you like it. Uh, if you're interested in more, subscribe to my channel. I uh, appreciate the like, a share, uh, comment, whatever you like. If you want to hear more about anything else, definitely let me know. If you want the live stream, let me know. I'll give you a link how you get it. Um, if you want to go to the next Tennis Growth Con, let me know. Okay.